Guys, I have a knee injury that's lasted me over 10 years. For all these years, I have tried several approaches to address this issue. And out of all the physios I've seen, the stretches I've tried and the exercise I've, exercises I've tried, what helped me the most are these exercises I got from this guy called the knees over toes guy. So the knees over toes guy is this fitness content creator who specializes in bulletproofing knees. So a little bit of background about him. So he grew up wanting to be a basketball player in the US. But because he had so many knee issues himself, he, after high school, he couldn't get any scholarship to go to college. So, he, you know, his career kind of ended there. <laughs> so what he decided to do then was to take a couple of, couple of years off and just focus on bulletproofing his knees. So he did a lot of research on his own, right? And what he found was that a lot of advices and exercises that he was following were outdated or just pure myths. As an example, he, he was told that when he was doing squats, his knees shouldn't go over your toes. And some, some say it's a myth that started by the study by the Duke University in 1978, in which the study says that when your knees go over your toes during squats, there's more pressure put on, put on your knees. Well, that might be true, but in more recent study shows that when your knees do go over your toes during your squats, you end up building more strength in your knees, which leads to less pain and more athleticism. So this knees over toes guy, you know, Ben Patrick developed these, you know, several exercises that with this knees over toes principle. And, you know, doing them for years, what he found was that not only were his knees getting stronger, but he was building up more athleticism. And therefore, he was getting better at basketball too. So much so that at 23 years old, he actually got a scholarship to play basketball at the top division level. And he got there, right? And he was sitting down with his strength coach to design like the, his workout program for the year. And, but he, he was being told by the strength coach that he couldn't, he wasn't allowed to do any of his knees over toes exercises, which were the exercises that got him there in the first place. And furthermore, in his academic program at the university, he was finding that a lot of material that was presented to him were quite outdated. <laughs> so in the exams, he, he would wonder if he should answer in a way such that uh, it, it's written in the textbook or he should answer in a way such that he knows to, to be true through his own research. After struggling with that for a while, he ended up actually quitting the university and starting his own gym. And at his gym, he uses his own programs and exercises he developed to help people bulletproof their knees. And after many success stories, he's now, you know, become this guy, the knees over toes guy that he is known as today. So if you check out his content on YouTube and Instagram, he, you know, he's, he puts out free content there and his content focuses on bulletproofing, not just your knees, but also your hips, your back and your shoulders and so on. And he always backs his uh, exercises with uh, either peer-reviewed studies or his own experience. And I think he, his, you know, a lot of the exercises he promotes do seem quite in, unconventional. And in fact, they are, they are quite unconventional. But I think there are a lot of proofs and evidences that, you know, th they work, I think. And one of the first evidence I would say is Ben Patrick, the knees over toes guy himself. You know, being not being able to get his scholarship at 18, 
uh, and struggling with all these knee issues to getting a scholarship at 23, pretty impressive, and not being able to dunk or um, not even being able to touch the rim at in his 20s to not now being able to dunk in his 30s. Not only that, some of his videos shows show him doing all these splits and putting his knees in in these positions that put a lot of stress on it and just being able to do that and looking at where he kind of came from and sounds pretty, you know, looks pretty impressive to me. And from my personal experience as well, having struggled with uh, with my knee issue, I started doing his exercises with one exercise, which was pulling sled backwards, which he advocates he advocates the most. And you know, from day one, <laughs> I felt a visible I felt a visible improvement in my knees. So there's another success story there. And he's advocated by many bigger names as well, such as Joe Rogan, Andrew Huberman, and Mark Bell, just to name a few. And if you want to see something wholesome, you can go to his videos on YouTube and Instagram and you can scroll down to the comment section and a lot of people write their success stories there like, oh, I couldn't even walk properly for 20 years and you've changed my, changed my life and things like that. So if you want some wholesomeness, then head over there. So if you are interested in checking him out, I got this, I prepared this list of good resources for you to start with. Uh, The first one is his interview with Joe Rogan on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. That's episode number 1766. Another good interview is his interview with Mark Bell. So that's another content creator on YouTube. And it's interesting how another fitness content creator digests his somewhat unconventional exercises. And of course, his YouTube and Instagram channel is just the knees over toes guy on on both of them and that's about it bye